Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. Today's video is a rather impromptu decision on my part to sit down and share with you some things that I've just picked up from Lululemon, some active wear bits. And if this is the first time that you've stumbled across me by doing like a Lululemon haul active wear search, then hello, I'm Virginia. I am a fitness influencer, an active wear extraordinaire. Not really. I post stuff about personal style and handbags, and so this is particularly off-brand. But I felt like this was necessary to share with you because I've picked up a fair few things. For the past month or so, I have been on a health kick. I have been working out consistently. I have been eating really healthy, and I decided to treat myself to some new workout stuff because, you know, I want to look cute at the same time. But the last time that I picked up some proper workwear gear would have been about eight years ago, also from Lululemon. Those tights are still alive and kicking. And in between that period, I have put my body through some things. I have birthed two very large children. But now that we have ceased making more humans, I decided to refresh a lot of my workout stuff and refresh it I have, people. I have picked up a lot of things. Now, the reason why I decided to post a video about this is because Lululemon is a little bit expensive and it is certainly a brand that I did a little bit of an internet stalky stalk about, particularly with all the pieces that I was interested in because I just wanted to make sure that people's experiences with the pieces that I was keen on was positive and for the purpose that I was intending to use it for and so when you're spending upwards of $140 on a pair of tights you just want to make sure that you're making the right decision you know and I'm also petite I'm 5'2 and so I figure my experience with the things might help fellow shorties out there but even if you're not a fellow shorty and you are blessed with some additional centimeters to your height congratulations then you will find this helpful as well as I will talk a little bit about the fabrics and I'll talk a bit about the styles and why I chose them now before I get stuck into sharing all of the bits the many many bits let's first talk about the lululemon shopping experience I'm talking about the in-store experience here because it's a lot guys, it's a lot. If I didn't have my heart set on getting some of their stuff, I would have just walked out because it is so intense in there. I'm not sure whether their sales tactics and strategies translate in Australia because they're just so intense and on you at all times. Hi, how are you going? Hi, how's your day? So what's keeping you busy today? And I visited two boutiques because my first boutique experience was just way too intense. I, I had to leave. <laughs> I had to like steal myself to go into the second boutique and pick out the things that I had tried on in the first boutique after I had waded through all of the intensity. Hi, how's your day? And so, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to online shopping a lot and just being able to shop in the privacy of my own home or being in my own space. But the Lululemon experience is just, they're just, all over you. Anyway. So what are you looking for exactly? We've got those in three colors. I can add those to the fitting room for you. Those are some great choices. You're about to touch that. I can add those in the fitting room for you. Would you like to join our cult? If you sign up to our cult newsletters, you get 10% off. It's a bit intense. But the convenience of having the Lululemon store in the city, which is very close to my office, as well as the outlet, which is really close to where I live, just meant that all roads led Lululemon for me and I have a feeling as well with a lot of these things similar to my previous Lululemon shopping experience that they will be in my wardrobe for many many years because this stuff is really quite durable so I have here a few tops and a few leggings go figure that I've picked up from both the retail store as well as the outlet store the stuff that I picked up from the outlet store however is also still available in the retail stores as well as online and you lucky people that aren't based in Australia they get to shop Lululemon over in the US or Canada where it's based you guys get such a better range than what we get you know for each style we might have between two to four colors available but you guys have about 10 to 12 colors and so if you're watching from a country where there's many many colors then you should just be grateful for that and feel sorry for us as is my usual practice with my try-ons I will insert cutaways of me trying on the pieces so that you can see how they look on me and my body and my frame and so yeah let's 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 just kick things off. Let's start the cult meeting. What's your name? Oh, Virginia, that's a beautiful name. I've always wanted to name my daughter that. Let's start off with leggings and I'm just gonna fish them out because I'm very organized ahead of filming this video. Okay, some of these have tags because I haven't worn them yet and some of them don't because I have. Logic. The first pair I'd like to share with you is a pair of the Fast and Free high rise tights. And I have these in the 25 length, and these are the perfect 
full length tight on me. I'm 5'2". I have shorter and chunky legs in comparison to my top half. I'm pear shaped, if you are new to me and my body. But these are the perfect length on me when I want to feel, you know, completely sucked in and supported. Now the fast and free tights are designed for sort of cardio and training purposes. And so the fabric that they use is the Nulux fabric, which is designed to sort of suck you in, but it's also very lightweight and sweat wicking and breathable. So really, really like how these feel. And the thing that I love about the fast and free tights are all of the pockets that they have. They've got all of these, you know, side pockets here so you can chuck your phone in. There's also a back pocket, which I use to put my keys and so I can go completely hands-free. All of my old tights don't have pockets. I know this is like, you know, not really a new design feature, but for me, it's like mind blowing because I don't have to hold my phone anymore. These are these new inventions that I just am only getting onto now. And I got these in the true navy color because I love navy. The next pair of leggings or tights that I bought is another pair of the Fast and Freeze, and this is in a fun black camo print. This is a pair that I picked up from the outlet store, and so I got these at about, I think it was about 30% off, and I got these in the 28 length, which are a little bit long on me, but I don't mind because I like the print and they're still very comfortable. They do bunch up a little bit at the ankles, which you'll probably see in the cutaways, but I'm not too fussed about that. Again, they've got all the pockets. They're made of that Nulux fabric again. I've done a few HIIT workouts in these. I've gone for various walks and runs in these and I've been getting my hardcore sweat on and these are still amazing and breathable and I don't feel too sticky afterwards. And so they're great. So because I am such a fan of the fast and free fabric, I also decided to pick up a pair of the shorts in that same fabric with the same pocket details. So that fast and free line is one that I particularly enjoy, as you can probably tell. These are the eight inch length shorts. Their shorts come in six inch, 10 inch and eight inch. I got the ultimate Goldilocks length on me. I didn't mind the short length, but I felt that they cut at the widest part of my thighs and they just made me look a little bit shorter and a little bit stockier than I you know, would prefer to have looked. And the 10 inch ones sort of hit me right at my knees. And if you're petite, then you know that having things hit you at the knees can also make you look a lot shorter than you are. And so this eight inch was the perfect for me, again, in the navy color because I love navy. These I bought from the boutique full price only yesterday. So they're very, very minty fresh right now. I have another pair of shorts that I want to share with you, which was a bit of an impulse purchase. These are the stretch high rise shorts and they are rather short, but they're really comfortable. They're not as tight fitting as the leggings. They've got pockets and I just like how they are a little bit more of a loose fitting short. Great for working out in the summer when I'm going out for walks and things like that. At the moment, because we're experiencing a bit of an odd spring where it's cold one minute and then rainy the next, they are really good at displaying my pasty legs. But fear not, I will correct that in the summer and I will get my tan on and show off my beautifully tanned legs in these wonderfully short shorts. These shorts are made of their Luxe Stream fabric, which have a lot of incredible stretch to them. They're very supportive. They have leggings that are made of Luxe Stream fabric that are ideal for training and things like that. And these are also very breathable as well. And while I'm talking about the fabrics, the most popular leggings that they have is the Align legging, which is made of a really buttery soft material designed for yoga. Um, but I have read that that fabric isn't as long wearing and it is subject to peeling. And when you're rolling around on the floor and doing all sorts of weird stuff with weights, then I figured that I would go for something that was a little bit more hard wearing and smooth, hence staying away from the Align fabric. I did try a few of their Align leggings and their Align shorts, and I just love how comfortable they are but their aligned leggings don't have pockets either. And so even if I were to buy them, then it would still be a bit inconvenient because I want to track my movements and things with my phone. That's the reason why I didn't go with their most popular legging design because I wanted pockets and I wanted something a little bit more hard wearing. Okay, so moving on to tops. I've got four here to share with you. Two I picked up from the outlet and two I picked up from the retail store. Now I'm a bit of a fatty daddy when it comes to showing off a bit of skin. Like I prefer a high neck to a low neck. But I don't know, I think as I enter my late 30s, I am really proud of what my body has done and I am really happy with where my body is. And so I don't mind showing off a little bit of crop right now. I really like their high neck sports bras, their long line sports bras. Now the first one I'd have to share with you is their Wonder Train bra, which is a high neck long line bra with this racer back. And these are so supportive and comfortable and I like how they don't show off 
too much skin but there is that little bit of a crop there when I pair it with my high-waisted leggings I actually don't mind that this is a great top for high intensity strength training and cardio type workouts it really is supportive and it just sort of sucks you in I really enjoyed wearing this and the color is a little bit fun too this one is a sale item but the style is still very much available and so I'll make sure that I link that below because I picked this one up from the outlet store but it's one style that's part of their permanent line which you know always gets re-released the next top that I have is also from the outlet store but is also a style that is available from their boutiques new is their energy long line bra and I think this is probably my favorite cut when it comes to all of the lululemon long line bras I think it's a really flattering high neck but it cuts at a really nice point to make you look very slimming and it also has this crisscross back detail here now I've tried this one in like a lighter white color but it really looks like I'm smuggling raisins when I'm wearing that and so I gravitate more towards the darker colors and the patterns like I have here with a lot of their long line bras because I don't want to look like I'm smuggling raisins and even though they are medium support they still show that and so just bear that in mind if you're on the conservative side the energy long line bra is also made of a really tough and thick fabric and so again it really feels like that you're being completely sucked in and supported and you can jump around and everything stays in place it's really really comfortable to wear this one is available in a heap of colors in the US and in Canada because you guys are the lucky ones over there I would pick this up in all of the colors if I could all of the dark colors anyway the ones that don't show me smuggling any raisins but it's not available in many colors in Australia at the moment it's only available in this color I think this is the one that's currently on sale as well as a brighter neon patterned color which isn't really my cup of tea but this is one that I will certainly be on the lookout when they have the newer colors because I would be snapping it up the next top that I have to share with you is one of their lighter workout tops not as heavy duty and tough as the first two that I've shown you this is a tank which also has the um, shelf bra built into it so you don't have to worry about wearing a sports bra and this is called their ebb to street crop tank it's a racerback style it's in navy because I love navy this one comes in about five or six different colors actually it's very well stocked at the moment quite a few sizes available I tried this one on in the white again I had the raisins issue but in the charcoal color and in the darker lilac color it was actually quite nice but I decided to go for the navy because I figured that I would just get a lot more wear out of it and it would go very well with all of the bottoms that I have this one is a really breathable style as well it's much thinner than the other two long line bras that I've shared with you and it's also not as tight and so this is really good for those light weight active recovery days and this is also a very good candidate for wearing with my casual wardrobe as well wearing with a pair of high-waisted jeans for example I think that it's just a really lovely classic racerback tank and the last top that I have to share with you was a bit of an impulse buy but I really just love the way that it looked and the design and the color it's this crescent tank here which only landed in their stores in the last week in Australia that is and it's got this really lovely knot detail when paired with the high-waisted leggings I really like how it looks it shows off a little bit of skin but not too much it's really lovely and breathable and I wear a crop top underneath and it's a really nice going for a walk top um, for those active recovery days it's really lightweight as well as you can see in the cutaways it pairs really well with the navy leggings that I've got which makes it an ideal candidate for taking with me to work and you know throwing on when I'm going out for my little lunchtime walks and runs and things like that and then I can just get changed back into my usual boring workwear gear when I am done so that's it guys that's a wrap on the recent active wear bits that I've just added to my active wear wardrobe I know that active wear and fitness bits isn't really a thing that I share on my various platforms but let me know down below if you are interested in hearing a little bit more about it and then I can maybe make a video about some of the things that I've been doing and some of the routines that I've been following at the moment as well I will have everything linked down below as well as my sizing information so that if you are interested in any of the pieces that I picked up then you can also have a bit of a browse if you like this video and my crazy eyes then be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye sign up to our <laughs> if you sign up to our cult newsletter <laughs> shit